Welcome back to Animal Crossing Wild World. It has been a little while, I'm sorry, but I'm back. And I have some post, it's probably not important post. Though I do have an old letter that's important. So I'm sorry to say that Monique decided to move away. Au revoir, Carmia. I'm leaving town. I wanted it to be a big mystery, but I'm actually just bored. See ya. I'm out from Monique. Okay, we have another letter from Mum. Ah, uh, yeah, you're not my mother. Bye. I'm guessing Vesta moved out too. So long, Carmia. I'm moving, but don't worry. Tormo told me we were all on the same planet, so it'll be okay. Keep smiling. Okay, that's sure. Okay, so I actually have some uh, both bad news and good news. I am planning on ending this series very, very soon. Oh look, a digging spot. I haven't seen one of those in ages. Let's go check that out. I'm just going to be honest, I like Wild World a lot, but it is definitely a bit thinner on the content than some of the other Animal Crossing games, and I have just run out of things to do. About all there is left to do is finish the museum, and I don't really want to do that because that would involve fishing and bug catching. And there's a pit ball seed that I don't want. Great. <laughs> uh, so, you know, I don't really want to play forever. <laughs> I'm definitely going to be doing New Leaf after this. I'm really excited for New Leaf. It has so many cool new features. It's a really cute game. And you know what? I like that New Leaf has a more little urban downtown setting rather than just all being a village in the middle of a wilderness with two shops and nothing else. So it's, it's kind of more my speed a little bit. I'm really excited to play it. Also, it has a much better um, clothing design system and a lot of better built-in clothing. Um, at the Able Sisters, it just has a lot going on for it. So I am really excited to play it. I'm not sure exactly when I'm going to start playing it, but soon. I do want to just get the last upgrade on this house so that I can say I did it and kind of finished in a way. I want to pay it off and then I think that should be it. I think this is the final house loan. But I do want to start winding this series down. I've just run out of things to do. I've sort of reached the point where instead of being like, yay, let's play some more Animal Crossing and see what's going on next. I just think, oh, there's nothing to do anymore. Just pick fruit. <laughs> that's really all I do. And that's not a great feeling to have when playing a game you like. So I feel like I've kind of reached the natural ending point of this series and I'm going to be winding it down soon. But I'll, I'll start New Leaf soon. It's kind of awkward because honestly, I'm, I'm well aware that this is the only series on my channel which gets a significant number of views. So I'm like, well, then will no one watch my videos anymore? <laughs> but I need to make videos that I like too. Oh, hey, look, a Christmas tree. Hi, um, I don't really do Christmas trees at all. My family also doesn't really do Hanukkah. We just do nothing, really. <laughs> I mean, my parents give me Chris presents on Christmas Eve usually, so... I mean, there's no way my dad could be relied upon to actually celebrate multiple days of Hanukkah. I'm sorry, he's too much of a workaholic for that. In fact, when I was a kid, he was always away on business trips, just at all times. So, in particular, that wouldn't have made much sense. At least for Christmas Eve, he, you know, usually had work off um, and would... Although you never know when a business call will come, especially because when it's, um, you know, a certain day in one part of the world, it's the next day in another part of the world. So there's that. Wait, did I get that cherry? Yes. I also need to check the turnip prices. I have a whole bunch of turnips in the turnip room and I've yet to get a good enough price to justify selling them. I think the most I saw them going for was 133 bells and that's still nowhere near high enough to really be worth the effort. I really don't have much luck with turnips. It's a good thing there's a turnip glitch in this game so that I don't have to worry about that. Um, otherwise they would just, I'd constantly be wasting money on rotting turnips. I see that we may have a few new animals who've moved in, so I'll talk to them in a little bit. And we finally have snow on the ground. Isn't it beautiful? I wish we had snow on the ground in real life right now. But right now, this winter in Detroit, we still only have one snow. It's probably going to snow um, next week at some point, so I'm looking forward to that. I love snow. 
some people are like, oh, I hate the cold weather and it's so miserable and I wish it was summer all the time. And I'm like, I hate the summer and I hate the heat and I wish it was winter all the time and I want to be blanketed in snow all year. Of course, thanks to global warming, it's less blanketed in snow all winter and more a little light dusting of snow and then it melts. <laughs> we do still get very heavy snows, but not as often and um, it, it melts eventually because it warms up. Back in 2001, my family moved to, um, 2000, late 2000, my family moved to Canada. We lived um, in Kitchener-Waterloo, which is about an hour away from Toronto and not very far from Detroit. I think it's very similar latitude-wise as well. And dead serious, all winter we were completely blanketed in snow. It just never melted you know, solidly all winter for quite a few months. There was just snow everywhere. The snow in the driveway in particular, around in the garden around the driveway where my dad would, you know, blow the actual driveway for cars. It just would be so high. Like, I mean, of course I was like nine then, but it was like most of my height. If our dog jumped into a snow drift, he would just be, you know, buried in snow. <laughs> it just isn't like that anymore. And did you guys hear last year, um, they didn't have any snow in Moscow, in Russia, and they had to import snow from another part of the country. In Russia! In Russia, they didn't have snow for a festival, so they had to import snow. I just, how can anyone deny, deny this? Just the last 10 years in particular, the weather has changed so much. I think it's completely undeniable what's happening, unless you're a complete idiot, but anyway. <laughs> Or work for a fossil fuel company. That too. Yeah, that too. Okay, so I think that after that little rant, I should maybe just focus on picking fruit for a few minutes. Wait, I need to check the turnip prices. And then I will focus on picking fruit before going and talking to a few villagers. All right. Come on, Tom Nook. Tell me the damage. How bad are the turnip prices right now? I'm currently buying turnips for 78 bells per turnip. Joan never sells them for under 90. Darn it. All right, see you in a minute. Well, here's Apollo, who is very rude to me usually, but anyway, he wants to talk to me. I've been meaning to ask you something. If you could be anything in the world, would you be a pirate ninja or a zombie Sasquatch? Um, a pirate ninja because zombies are disgusting. Hmm, so that's what you stand on, the great question of our time, pa. Hey. Hold up, Pa. I can't just walk off after hearing something like that. Here you go. Have a Pop Bloom shirt. What? Also, isn't it Pirates vs. Ninjas, not Pirates vs. Zombies? Whatever. What? It's a gift, moron. Sure, weirdo. Oh, Pa. Now that that's out of the way, what the heck did you want anyway, Pa? Why have I got to be the one that's always doing the talking, Pa? Maybe a visitor from another town will be a little more chatty. Oh, we don't get those here because online services don't work anymore and I don't actually know how to use um, the online uh, Wii and DS server that fans have put up. Um, yeah, you know, I still haven't been able to get my pre ds to connect to the internet. I don't know why. I, it just doesn't want to work for me. <laughs> so yeah, online play, never really something I've done ever in my life, ever, <laughs> ever. <laughs> Yeah. Also, look, without without incriminating myself, may I just say that 3DS capture cards are just about impossible to get a hold of nowadays. So while I'm absolutely going to buy Animal Crossing New Leaf, um, um, hmm, playing it is a different question because, well, 3DS capture cards, actually it's a really interesting and depressing story. There was a law passed in Japan a while ago making it illegal to alter hardware. Yeah, which makes it illegal to take a 3DS and add a capture card system unit to it. Which means that there are no new 3DS capture cards being made or DS capture cards. Which means that you can only buy one on the second hand market and they're going up in price like crazy. I think I've seen them going for $800. Yes, $800. That's how much my computer with a graphics card costs. Yay! So no 3DS capture card for me or for anyone else who actually um, cares about not spending a ridiculous amount of money on something like that. Anyway, bit of a problem. Although I have found that regular capture cards um, 
are not as expensive as I thought they were. The thing is, um, the capture cards that you hook your console into, like your regular console, like a Switch or a PlayStation, um, the thing is, the Elgato capture card, which is the most popular one, is very expensive. It's like $150, and on top of a price of the console itself, it's kind of a big deal. But it turns out there are cheaper models from other companies, which are probably not as good, but they're more affordable. I've seen them going for about $50. Of course, that doesn't mean that Switch gameplay is in the, new, in the, new, in the future for my channel just yet, because the Switch is too expensive, and no one's, um... There's no one has the Switch in stock at the moment in 2020, and uh, I've seen used Switches which are more expensive than the original model, so that makes no sense. But maybe, maybe in a couple of years, especially if I can get a used Switch for a better price or refurbished or something like that, it is a possibility for the future. I didn't think it was, but it is. Also, I have never really played um, PlayStation games. I've recently discovered that you can actually take the disc for a PlayStation 1 or a PlayStation 2 game and put it into your DVD drive and then a PlayStation emulator can read it so you can play the original game without the original hardware, which is really cool. Hey Nintendo, you want to try that? Not everyone wants to spend money on your consoles, they're kind of expensive. Meanwhile, I have a really nice gaming laptop here which could totally play your games if you would just let me. I really hate dedicated console hardware. Ugh. Also, I might start getting more into playing some uh, uh, Steam games. I'm really interested in um, the Bug Fables game, which is basically, you know, Paper Mario style. It looks really cute. I've watched um, Steven plays do a first 20 of it, and I will say the bugs are too cartoony to be particularly scary to me, so I think I could actually play that one. Anyway, now that I've gone babbling about capture card issues for a while, I need to pick some more fruits. See you again in a minute. All right, I'm all done picking fruit and I paid off some more of my loan. I still have 600k left and I'm going to first wander around, check with some animals, whoever's still up, and also um, see if I can find any digging spots. We'll see how that goes. I did find a weed and another weed and another weed and here's an animal. Hello. Great timing! I've got a little quiz for you to take, Carmia. Oh, uh, Dina moved in, yes. If you had to guess, how well would you say I get along with Peanut? Um... Huh? Man, when you're off base, you're way off base. To tell you the truth, we're not really all that close. I mean, at all. But... You can't let that get around. I'd just die if anyone knew, woo-woo. I mean, wow, um... The way she says it is very negative. She could just say we don't have much in common, but she's nice or something. Because Peanut is very cheerful and friendly. I can't imagine her being rude to anyone on purpose ever. Anyway, it's getting pretty dark out, Woo Woo. So, uh, what can I do for you, Woo Woo? Carmina, you have to help me because I've got a real dilemma for you. See, I'm having a tough time cooking spaghetti and I need answers. Stat. Dina. I really only cook Asian food, mostly Japanese food, so uh, I, I don't actually know what to say already. What's your problem? Do you know how long I should cook my spaghetti to get it al dente? Oh, actually, I do know that. Probably about... Well, actually, it depends on how much you're cooking. <laughs> Are you cooking for one person? Then I would say probably about nine minutes tops. Um, for more than one person, maybe a little longer because of the volume of pasta. I would say nine minutes. That sounds delightful, Carmia. I mean, it sounds just fine. It's good to know how you like your food cooked. Thanks! Yeah, I don't really do spaghetti. I, um, one dish I actually invented, um, is a, I call it miso cream noodles. I, you, I, um, cook, um, a sauce with cream, miso paste, um, red miso paste in particular. Um, about a tablespoon of, uh, okay, one third a cup of cream, one tablespoon of red miso paste, one tablespoon of sake, and a few dashes of finely ground black pepper. Um, the Japanese grocery store sells very, very finely ground black, black pepper, and that's what I like to use because I don't like the texture of the larger peppercorn pieces. And so I do that um, with Japanese um, shimeji, the little, um, which type is it? Um, the little tiny beach mushrooms. Those are really good. And I do that with then um, also some uh, the green ends of spring onions. And I do that with um, Thai rice noodles, and those cook for about, I do 60 grams of Thai rice noodles and that cooks for about six minutes on the stove. 
And that is finished. I then tossed the noodles in the pasta sauce and it's really delicious. So um, it's a very fusion dish. <laughs> it's pasta but with Thai rice noodles but with the Japanese miso cream sauce but with cream. I got the idea from a um, fusion Japanese restaurant in Novi, um, where I live. They make um, a miso cream sauce um, for a few different dishes. They mainly do it for salmon and chicken and it's really delicious. And I got the idea to sort of, you know, adapt that into my own thing. And it's really, really, really tasty. So I have to make sure not to have it every day because then my blood sugar would be really, really high. <laughs> oh, hey, look, a snowball. But I don't like making snowmen because the snowmen are rude. <laughs> Truly a dilemma for the ages. Should I make a snowman? Or are snowmen just too rude to be worth the effort? Hmm. Also, if a snowball is on the dirt for too long, I think maybe it kind of breaks. So I see I have a star pattern of snow this year. It's really cute. Works for the snowflakes very nicely. Okay, come on, come on. We don't get onto the grass of uh, um, snow again soon. We could have a problem. Also, speaking of snowmen, I have noticed that a lot of people in Detroit don't make snowmen during winter, which seems very odd to me. I mean, surely it's one of the joys of winter is making snowmen, right? Look, a digging spot. Hi, Apollo. I don't like you. <laughs> Although last time it snowed, which was back in, um, well, it was a few weeks ago. Um, I did actually see someone had made a very tiny little snowman. It was very cute. Um, it makes sense. My neighborhood has a lot of families with young children. Basically, um, single people, couples, and usually like young families, which only have one small kid. Um, they kind of are people who live here. All right, here's a fossil. Yay. I'll go get that appraised um, by Blavers in a bit. Does Blavers actually call it that in um, in the original Animal Crossing, or am I just thinking of the ring appraisal from um, from the uh, Oracle of Seasons and Oracle of Ages um, Zelda games? Those were favorites of mine as a kid. I didn't know any other Zelda games, but I knew those two and I loved them and was terrible at them. Uh, actually, when I'm done with um, Pokemon Saturn, I'm going to go back to Link's Awakening for my black and white um, Game Boy Adventures, and uh, I'm, I'm definitely dreading it a little bit because I'm not very good at uh, Zelda games. I love them, but I'm terrible at them. It's too stressful! You know, I love how I'm making this, but I'm probably not going to find another snowball. I might also accidentally push it into the water. <laughs> that might happen. Hey, here we are. I feel accomplished. I did that successfully. It seems like you go into a sort of holding pattern with them, much more so than in the original GameCube game, which is good because in the original GameCube game, you would just kind of push them around idly with um, like, like a soccer ball. It was very awkward. Um, very easy to push them into the water, but oh, this looks like it's working better. I don't know why I'm doing this because I actually don't like the snowmen. They're so rude. They just complained that I didn't make them correctly. Well, I'm sorry. Maybe you should have given me a blueprint. If you have these very specific measurements you want to be made to, how am I supposed to just psychically know what you want? All right, I give up. Plus, I don't see any other pieces to work with, so that's no good. I'm just gonna look around for another digging spot. I actually read somewhere, I, I could never find any fossils, and I looked it up and I read somewhere that um, it's not a glitch, it's just that fossil spots are very hard to see when the ground is um, all gray and brown for autumn, so that's good to know, I guess. Oh, hi, it's a gyroid. I don't actually care for gyroids. Well, you know what, it's 800 extra bells, so that's something. All right, I haven't walked around this area much. Weeds, and then let's go talk to Teddy. Hi, Teddy. Well, 
howdy do there. How's life, champ? Mine's rocking right on. You've been gone for weeks, at least three of them by my count. Don't know what you're up to, but while you were gone, I lo locked myself in my house. You know what I did? Squat thrusts and vertical jumps until I got ill. By the way, right on, what's going on with you today? Hey, you know, champ, I still have no clue what makes you tick. Seriously, what kind of person would you say you are, right on? Um... Oh, I don't know. Cheery? I mean, I, I, when I record, yes, but obviously I'm not going to roll on the video and say, Hi, I feel sad today and the world is a terrible place. Well, actually, I sometimes do do that, but I usually do it in a cheerful voice. Like, yay, we're all suffering from global warming. Yay, there's a pandemic. Isn't it wonderful? Not <laughs> brave. I wouldn't say so. Kind. I don't know. Funny. I don't know. Cute. I'll say cute. After all, my aesthetic is shoujo manga protagonist. That's not gonna win you any awards. Have I taught you nothing? First, push-ups. Second, sit-ups. Then ab crushers. Then pectoral bombs. Fifth, lateral squats. Got all that? Forget all that personality stuff. You gotta be defined by muscles, champ. Uh, Teddy, I'm actually extremely feminine and delicate and, um, I, I exercise just enough to try to, you know, not be a complete wimp, but that's about it. And that's still a struggle. Just don't enjoy exercise, what can I say? Sorry. <laughs> it's gotten freezing out. Muscle freeze right on. By the way, right on. What's going on with you today? Got any gossip? Hey, what's with that look? Are you trying to hypnotize me to make you join the hockey club? What? You're such a total weirdo, right on. Sir, I barely know what hockey is. I also think that hypnotism is bullshit, um, pardon my English, so no, I'm not trying to hypnotize you. I might be trying to hypnotize you to um, join the, let's see, what are some clubs I would be part of? Um, shoujo manga is the best club, shoujo anime is the best and they should make more shoujo anime series club. Um, um, uh, I wish that Yuri and Shoujo had never split off into separate genres because now all Yuri manga seem to just be boring romances with no actual plot. And I want an Akatsuki no Yona with a lesbian romance as the main pairing. Thank you very much. Um, um, oh, hey, there is another little uh, thing of a bobber. Cool. Let's just remove that shovel and put it back in my um, thing here so that I don't accidentally drop it. I don't want to sell it to Nook by mistake. Um, what other club would I be a part of? Um, Yoshi Story is the best Yoshi game ever because it has a proper egg targeting system which actually works and doesn't make me want to tear out my hair in frustration and throw the controller all over the place. I know that is actually quite a controversial opinion. Not, not because of the egg, egg aiming um, sister thing, but uh, I know that Yoshi's Island is the fan favorite, but I, I like Yoshi Story better, sorry. Both because it was a childhood game and as said, I just I think that it's so much easier to play because the, the, egg, the egg aiming is so much better. One day I'm going to let's play Yoshi's Story and I'll talk about it more then and how it's the superior Yoshi's game and everyone should play it. Not that Yoshi's Island isn't good or anything, but it's just Yoshi's Story is better. Thanks. <laughs> Actually, it really drives me mad. I'm just gonna... Oh, I didn't mean to do that. You know what? That's fine. Let's see. Oh no! Oh no! Look at me! I'm all lumpy and weird. But like my pappy used to say, a snowman can't choose his builder. This is my fate and I'll have to steal myself and accept it. Ah. <sighs> If someone called me cute, I'd know they were lying. I mean, look at me. I'm afraid someone will mistake me for a pile of slush and shovel me away. Yeah, I worry about that all the time, actually. It ain't healthy. You know, maybe. Have you considered you're actually just really prejudiced against people who don't fit your standards of beauty, even if that person is yourself? That's it. All of the snowmen secretly ascribe to eugenics and are extremely prejudiced. And, oh no, is Peanut sick? Oh, I feel queasy. I think I'm totally gonna redecorate my shoes. You need some medicine. You can buy the medicine at Tom Nook's store, I think. I hope. Indeed, I can. I will go do that. And also, 
Isn't it typical that Dina was bad talking her when she's actually sick at home? Ugh. I've decided that I don't like Dina. I mean, at least when Bree says something mean, you know that she doesn't mean it. She's just Bree. <laughs> oh well. Yeah, I've noticed that some of the animals who pretend who put on this nice air and are all sweet and friendly are actually secretly very catty. I don't know why. Anyway, here we are. At least I didn't deposit every single one of my bells, otherwise I wouldn't have enough left for medicine. Actually, looking at that Christmas tree, I'm reminded I need to eventually get a menorah for my house, which I will never actually remember to light the candles for. My family never does, but we do get a menorah and put it out for Hanukkah, if we even remember what day Hanukkah starts. <laughs> We just have the menorah there, it's more decoration, you know? Anyway, I should actually get one sometime. I think that my mum had one and she offered that I could take it, but it was a very, very, very modern design and I kind of wanted something a bit more classical, so I said, you know, you guys keep that one and I'll eventually get one, one day. Not this year, Hanukkah is actually already over, so maybe next year. Ugh, I thought I would get better, but no, now I feel totally worse. You need a bed, actually. Is that medicine? Or am I hallucinating? Get him off me! Oh, like, whoa. She is definitely hallucinating. I think if you've reached the point of hallucinating, you really need the hospital, but there's no hospital in town. Oh, 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 oh. oh I don't think I'm fully recovered yet, slacker. Oh, I'm sorry. Now I feel a lot better. Hey, world, Carmia is totally, like, the best. Take care. Thanks for coming. I'm so super glad that you're my friend, Slacker. You know, actually, this reminds me. I was sick yesterday. I think I probably had food poisoning. Can't confirm for sure, but I think it was food poisoning. Fortunately, I'm all better now. I um, spent the whole day after I was done being sick lying on the sofa. That was fun. Not. But I have upgraded to real food again and I'm not sick anymore. And given how quickly it passed, I think it must have been food poisoning. So, yeah, lovely. Not. Hey, look, someone has a bed. Well, that's good. If you get sick, then you have somewhere to lie down. <laughs> oh, good evening. Yip, yip. For some reason, I just got totally sleepy. I can barely keep my eyes open. So, uh, oh yeah, why did you want to talk to me anyway? Sometimes I wish I could talk to people from other towns more. Yip, yip. You could invite friends over to visit our town. I know you have a lot of them. Oh, bones! I, I, I don't have any friends. <laughs> I really don't. I wouldn't complain. Not even if they gave me nookies. Thank you for friend shaming me. I've noticed that video games do that a lot. They really shame you if you don't have friends. Oh, you don't have friends to do multiplayer with? You poor soul, you. <laughs> anyway, I'm lonely and sad. Oh, I haven't spoken to you in ages, have I? Hi, Roscoe. Oh wait, I haven't met you. Huh. I thought I'd met him. I guess not. Oh, hey, we haven't met yet, have we? My name is Roscoe. My sign is Gemini. Not that I really buy any bad astrology, hooey. I like to dig up fossils. Anyway, it's nice to meet you, woo-woo. Why are you saying woo-woo too? Oh, woo-woo. So anyway, did you want something from me or what, woo-woo? Got any gossip? There is no rational reason behind why people act the way they do. There is just no explaining why someone is drawn to something, woo-woo. And it's not just because something is popular or cute, it's something else. I mean, the reason I'm so into fossil hunting right now is that they are old. And they're all dry and cracked. That's interesting, right, woo-woo? It is very interesting to see the body of an extinct creature in the fossil, yes. Indeed. Now that that's out of the way, what the heck did you want anyway, woo-woo? If you ever find a freakishly rare fossil... Oh, wait. Never mind. You're gonna have to figure it out for yourself. Um, I can sell it for a lot of money if I haven't already donated- if I've already donated that one to the museum. Something like that. Is this Roscoe's house? No, it's Teddy's house. Oh, of course. I don't know why I thought it was that. Alright, this is Bree's house. I do remember Bree's house. It has the blue door. Fortunately, Bree is not sick. You know what? I actually think I know what that plant is. It's a monstera. 
I watch Miss Orchid Girl who makes orchid videos and she has a second channel for houseplants which I watch anyway because I think she's cute, not because I actually really care much about other plants besides orchids. <laughs> and she recently got into monsteras, so now I recognize them. Well, what do you know? It's you, champ. How many weeks has it been? What? Two? Oh my gosh, you know what? Your house must be swarming with- uh, ugh, Right now. Gag me! No, it isn't. I've still been playing. I just forgot to talk to you. Sorry. I was just picking fruit and nothing else. So, what do you want to bug me about this time? Oh, I haven't been clothes shopping in the longest time, but I'm broke, see? If only someone would just give me some. Yes, someone, darling. Oh, hint, hint. Okay, you know what? I'm gonna buy something at the Able Sisters and go get back to her still. Before I talk to Blavers. This is winding up being a long episode when I was only planning on it being a short one. Well, why not, right? Yeah, Vesta's house was somewhere around here and now she moved out. So, there's that. Oh, right, um, okay. Go to the Able Sisters, buy a thing for Brie, and, oh, um, where are the Able Sisters? Come on. How did I go all the wrong way like that? I just completely bypassed it and went down to the beach. Here we are. Hey, welcome! Welcome to Able Sisters, where you are the fashion designer. Okay, thanks. Sure, bye. Um, hmm. What's this? Oh yes, you're looking at a burglar's shirt. The price is 420 bells, you know what, no. I thought, you know, black, nice and classic, little black dress, but not a burglar's shirt. Oh yes, you're looking at a toga. The price is 280 bells. That does not look like a toga, but you know what, it's fine. It looks like a white dress. It's kind of like a white wrap dress. I haven't spoken to Sable in a long time. Hey, Carmia, welcome. What? Are you telling me I should take Saturday off? <laughs> yeah, right, Carmia. I know that you know. Saturdays are our busiest days. We need to take advantage of the times when everyone else is relaxing. The shortest route to getting something done is to just do it. Dad used to say that when I was little. Great to see you. Come back soon, okay? I wish they had more clothes for me to buy, but anyway. Let's go see Brie again and give her a piece of clothing because she really wanted something. And this is the best I've got, I guess. Why do I keep losing track of where the bridges are? More weeds. Get out of here, weeds. You're not even cute weeds like clovers or dandelions. You're just weed weeds. Well, actually, that was a clover, but it's kind of dried up and dead now, so it doesn't matter. <laughs> Sorry? Just thought I was going to have a hiccup. Darling, how are you, champ? So, what do you want to bug me about this time? Clove yourself. What? Did you say you were going to give me this toga? So, are you saying you want me to wear it? Okay then, as you wish. I'm gonna get all dolled up now, darling. Well, I guess you deserve a reward anyway. Maybe you'd like my regent wig. What? Here, take it. You don't like it? Brie! It just kind of looks like a... Wow, who knew that you had such great taste in clothes, darling? Oh, okay, so she does like it. I think it looks nice on her. It doesn't really look like a toga. It just looks like a very pale white and blue dress, which is fine. That matches Bree's fur very nicely. All right, let's see what the Regent wig looks like. Probably not as nice as the witch's hat, but let's take a look. What? That doesn't, that looks like a pompadour. Well, I guess if I wanted to look like a Brunei Kuwabata, that would work fine. But I don't particularly, so no thanks. Maybe for a boy that would look good, but a pompadour doesn't really look good on a girl, you know? It's not really a feminine hairstyle. Now is it? Alright, time to go see Blathers! It's been a while since I've had a fossil for him, as in all autumn! 
Ah, oh, indeed, hooty hoo. It's always a treat to have visitors here. Welcome to the Juban Museum. Do enjoy yourself. So, by the by, might there be something with which I can assist you? Please check the fossil. Oh, indeed, hooty hoo. Which fossil can I appraise for you? Ah, hmm, yes, ooh, indeed. Hmm, fascinating. Oh my. Ooh, this particular sample was a challenge to identify with certainty, but I'm now confident this is an ammonite. Indeed it is. Who? And with that I shall return it to you. Who? That is, I should return it to you, but I say, this ammonite. Well, to be blunt, it is a thing that has not yet been donated to the museum. Indeed, I would like your permission to keep it in my possession as a donation. Might I be able to convince you to part with it? Um, sure. Who then, if you insist, your donation is well and truly appreciated. But still... Ooh, indeed, woohoo! Amazing! This fossil is an almost flawless specimen. The ammonite looks like it would be related to spiral-shelled creatures. But have I got a whopper of a surprise for you? They are actually part of the same family as squid and octopi, just imagine! All that remains of these enigmatic creatures are their shells. Despite extensive research, we're still not sure what their bodies looked like. Oh, I'm terribly sorry. I went on rather long, didn't I? Forgive me. So, might there be any other fossils that you'd like me to identify? Unfortunately, that's the only one I found today, sorry. Ah, who? Is that so? Well, if it's fossils you wish to know about, please do not hesitate to ask. I'm really shocked that I hadn't already donated an ammonite. That's really the first one I've ever dug up? Wow. I thought they were more common than that. Well, anyway, time to wind down our evening with a visit to KK. Hey, Carmia. You here for a song? You know it. Cool. Hey, if there's something you want to hear, just give it to me straight. I'm taking requests if you're given them. Not this time. You like surprises? No problem. I got my axe ready, so take a seat. Alright, get ready to dig the riffs on this ditty. KK Samba. Hey, thanks for listening. I hooked you up with a boot of KK Samba. You know, a bootleg? You can play it on the box back at your pad anytime. It's cool, no charge. Those industry fat cats try to put a price on my music, but it wants to be free. You be sure to drop on by and catch me again, man. I'll be around. 
Thank you. I really liked that. That was a really nice, cheerful and bopping song. Nice to listen to when I'm recovering from being sick. Oh, hi, Teddy. <laughs> Watcher, you rockin' champ? Listen, when you popped by my place the other day, did you forget something? No? Man, color me impressed. You're so darned honest right on. Wow, integrity ought to be rewarded, so take my exotic wall. To tell the truth, I just don't want it anymore. It messes with my training. <laughs> All right, thanks. Let's take a look at that and also listen to KK Samba. It always sounds different in the house. All right. Uh, there we are. I always have a little bit of difficulty getting this thing to work. Where is it? Here it is. Here we are. Hmm. Very different. It kind of reminds me of um, you know, um, in We Love Katamari, there's this animal song where all of these like vaguely zoo-like animal noises sing out the Katamari Damasi song or something. Kind of reminds me of that. Actually, I'm wondering if I could play Katamari on my channel one day. I do find that when you're um, emulating it, it does tend to lag a little bit at some points because there's just so much stuff on screen. Hmm, I'm not a big fan of the exotic wall. Let's just switch that back. Okay. Yeah, um... I'm actually thinking of one day, not this year, maybe maybe next year, um, seeing how much it costs to get a PlayStation 3 because um, there are quite a few games on the PlayStation 3 I might actually like to play. Well, a few, not a ton, but a few. So if I can get a used one for a decent price, maybe. Um, there's, let's see, there's um, Katamari Forever. Um, unfortunately, starting with the PlayStation 3, you can no longer just put the drive into your PC's um, DVD drive and play it on your PC. You need the actual PlayStation. Or I think also some Blu-ray uh, readers can do it, but I don't have a Blu-ray reader, so that's not an option. Anyway, so that's an option. That's one thing. I'm also interested in... Um, the Unfinished Swan. I saw a Let's Play of it and it looked really beautiful. I'd like to play it one day. And I think there might be a few other more artsy games for the PlayStation which I might be interested in in the future. Anyway, just been thinking about that lately. But anyway. I wonder if I'd like to actually just play something different here. Um, All right, so that was a much longer day in Animal Crossing than I intended, but I had a lot of fun. Maybe I should start, until I start the, until I finish this series, maybe I should only record like once a week or something so that I, it, I have more stuff to do and it feels a little more exciting. I will play besides that in order to check the turnip prices and pick fruit, but I might cut down recordings to only once a week or so because it just feels more fresh and interesting. Um, there's just less to do. Early on, I wanted to record all the time because there was always new things to do, there were always new things to unlock and things like that, and that sort of faded, and I'd like to enjoy the rest of my time in Juban before I finally move out and start a new life in New Leaf. <laughs> anyway, thank you so much for watching, and please stay safe. Until next time, bye-bye!